Don't be that person who always seeks to fill up a room. There, there's, there's no need to do that. Be that person who is a breath of fresh air. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the King Sense channel. Now this is the place where we appreciate and also celebrate the art of fragrances. We got three goals on this channel, which are be your best, look your best, and of course, smell your best. And my job is to help you to do that. Now, if that's something that has your attention, show your support by hitting that like button, leaving a comment, and or subscribe to the channel. Come and be a part of the family. We would love to have you. I hope everybody has had a blessed week, a blessed weekend, and I wish you many more. Now, let's get on to the feature presentation. All right, so today, guys, I'm bringing you another video segment of informative fragrance discussion. I believe this is volume three. Uh, but today we are going to talk about the topic of compliments. Uh, we're talking about uh, pretty much the power of compliments. And we're going to just talk about some different things that has to deal with compliments. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the juice. All right. So real quick, I know everybody knows what a compliment is, but I want to give the official uh, definition, if you will, of a compliment. Is described as a polite expression or praise for admiration. All right, so uh, it could be something that you admire, person, place, thing, what, whatever the case may be. Compliments can essentially be applied to almost anything. All right, so, um, but the power of compliments. So, my question to you um, is Are you compliment driven? Are you compliment driven? Um, and what, what do you mean, Mr. King Sense? Uh, are you what I would consider thirsty for compliments? Uh, what do compliments do for you? Do you have an understanding as to why you may be compliment driven? So, me, myself, personally, no. Uh, I'm not compliment driven. And... I'm not bashing anybody that is. I'm just trying to help you understand why you may be that way. Um, compliment driven to me, you have the you have the person who may be an oversprayer. Uh, you may not understand why you overspray, but if you think about it, you want people to notice you. So I feel like that person that desires, that seeks to be noticed, that seeks that attention or validation from others, um, one could say that that derives from something uh, internal, all right? Doesn't make you a bad person, doesn't make you a terrible person at all. We're just talking about the, the type of power that compliments have. So, overspring could be um it could be a cat call right um it could be just a person fishing for compliments whether from men or women um we all do want or desire compliments you know at some point in time but you got to understand one thing you need to have confidence when you're dealing with a hobby as such. I feel like when you spend your hard earned money on things such as fragrances. Guys, you have to have confidence in some way, shape or form. And the reason why I say you have to is because if you don't, if you remain compliment driven, I'm gonna just flat out say this. I feel like it may drive you into a money pit. I'm talking about you may find yourself uh, or you may already be one of those persons who when you see a top 10 compliment video, you're clicking on it. Ooh, we I got to get all 10 fragrances. I got to get all 20 fragrances. You might already be that type of person. Doesn't make you a terrible person at all. But what I'm trying to get you to understand is if you if you continue to be that type of person, it'll it, never stop. It'll never stop. 
you're going to continue to be suckered into buying every fragrance that somebody throws on a video and says this is a compliment getter guys you have to take everything with a grain of salt even my videos all right now i'm never going to steer you the wrong way right and i always talk about test driving before you buy the car so i hope nobody's really out there uh, blind buying a bunch of fragrances that i say just are, are are amazing just because i said that uh chances are they are going to be what i said but everybody's noses are different everybody's noses are different and i feel like as you as you mature in this in this fragrance uh thing your nose is going to change it's going to change all right i remember for some time guys i didn't like gourmand fragrances I thought those were only for women only. I thought no man should be walking around smelling edible, right? Foolish thinking, but that those were my thoughts. Those were my thoughts and I'm entitled to have my thoughts. Uh, but today I stand here and telling you my nose has matured. I now have Gourmand fragrances. I now enjoy Gourmand fragrances. Uh, I have some from Killian. Uh, I have some from, uh, who else? I have some from Mancera. Uh, I have some from Alexandria Fragrances. Guys, I'm just saying all of that to say your nose is going to mature. And if it hasn't, then you need to step outside the box. Check your self-esteem. Check your self-esteem. Check your confidence level. What can you do to pour into you so that you can become less of this uh, compliment driven person so that we can give the power compliments less power guys again I wear fragrances for myself uh, it's a signature of me fragrances compliment me um, as to who I am as a person as a man so when I'm wearing a particular fragrance I'm not wearing fragrances based on how many compliments I get. To me, that's 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 nonsense. I'm wearing fragrances because it's who I am. And I know that each and every day that I leave my house, I know that I'm smelling better than 80 to 90 percent of people on this planet Earth. That's just the type of confidence level you have to have. And I don't have to overspray to do it. Guys, when we're talking fragrances, less is more. Let me say that one more time. Less is more. You don't want to be that person that walks by somebody and says, dang, that man got too much cologne on. You don't want to be that guy. You want to be that person that walks by somebody and they get a light, faint whiff of your aura, of your CIs, and your presence that keeps them wanting more. That's what you want. That's the guy that you want to be. You want to be that guy that when you're in a store, they're chasing you down, trying to find out what's the name of that fragrance. I'm not saying that overspraying won't get you that type of attention, but guys, I never overspray, and I get that type of attention often. So, Again, don't be that guy or that woman that's fishing for compliments. Allow them to come to you. Stop the overspray. Less is more. All right, so if you made it to this part of the video, this is just a view check to see who is really rocking with Mr. King Sense. Type in the word CIs. I want to see who's really out there watching. So I'm going to share with you guys a compliment or two that I've received. Uh, I want to I want to think about some of the best compliments or some of the most uh, memorable compliments that I've had um, and also drop some down below as well um, some of the most memorable compliments you guys have had as well uh, one that comes to mind man is I had a young lady uh, come up to me I was at work all right now I remind you I work with the public so uh, I had a young lady walk past me uh, and then maybe about five to 10 seconds later, she came back up to me. And this is what she said. 
Uh, and I can't make this up, guys. But so she runs back up to me and not literally run, but she comes back up to me. And this is what she says, guys. She says her whole entire life, she's been into nothing but only women. Never attracted to any men. She told me immediately once she smelled my fragrance, once she smelled my aura, she said I she immediately became attracted to me. And this is I cannot make this up, guys. She said, and being that I'm the first man in her entire life she's been attracted to, she asked me if she could give me a hug. Guys, I cannot make this up. This is the power of fragrances. It's not the power of compliments. It's the power of fragrances. Um, so, of course, guys, I gave the women a hug and we went on about our day. All right. So another one of my most memorable uh, compliments. Uh, it was a funny one. I was in a store and I believe I told this some videos back maybe a year ago uh, i shared this compliment with you all but i was in a grocery store and uh, a woman uh and her husband um we're in the aisle and i'm coming down the aisleway all right i proceeded down the aisleway to get whatever it is i'm getting uh, at that particular time and the woman i walked past the woman and she, she says, oh my gosh. She said, sir, what is that fragrance you have on? Um, I, at this particular moment, don't remember what I was wearing, but if I gave it some thought, I probably could pinpoint exactly what it was. Uh, so we're talking about my fragrance. I actually pulled up my phone to show her. And while I'm pulling up my phone, she tells her husband to come here and smell this man. Now, uh, for me, I felt like, man, that's that was a little borderline disrespect, but it is what it is, man. I mean, I, I don't, you know, I don't think the lady was really hitting on me in front of her husband, uh, but still, that's just something I wouldn't want my wife doing. Uh, but nonetheless, the man comes down because he was up a little ways, but he he ends up coming down uh, and, and you know comes close enough. He doesn't come up and smell my neck, but he comes close enough in the vicinity to be able to pick up my fragrance. Uh, and he said something, whatever he said, right? It didn't, it didn't matter what he said, but but he said something, and um, and and again, she wanted to know where she could purchase the fragrance, uh, and I showed her where to purchase it. So, uh, guys, right now, those are two of the most memorable compliments uh, that I have for you. I get them often. Um, I probably get them every week. I'm not getting compliments every single day, but I do get them every week. Uh, I'll say this. So here's another compliment I'm going to share with you. Uh, I actually received this past week. Um, and this goes to show you there's different types of people in this world. There's people who will actually compliment you in their head. And then there's other people who will actually be vocal about it and come up and tell you. All right. So there's there's two type of people uh, when it comes to compliments. But I've been working with this woman for quite some time. She's never told me how good I smell. Never, not one time. But this goes to show you that she's been complimenting me this whole time in her head. And I'm gonna tell you why. So out of nowhere, I walk up, we're having a sidebar conversation as we do pretty much every day. Um, and she holds her wrist out. In the middle of me talking, she just holds her wrist out and she says, here, smell this. So I looked at her because it caught me off guard. And I'm, I'm saying to myself, where did this come from and why did she seek my validation at that particular time and, and guys it's because she's been complimenting me in her head now why she may not compliment me uh, or be vocal about it and tell me to my face is because uh, she's a married woman all right and she i'm sure respects her husband so uh but she, she at that particular time was seeking my validation um, because she know Mr. King since always smells good. She knows that. So she wanted my approval based on whatever fragrance sample she had uh, rubbed on her wrist or what have you or sprayed on her wrist. Uh, I believe it was a sample because I asked her 
you know, what the name of it was. But so I told her, you know, how I felt about it. It was mediocre. It was a, it was a scent for a younger uh, woman. I even broke it down for her, told her what I felt was in the fragrance composition as well as uh, what type of setting, place, or events it could be worn to or what type of night. But as I mentioned before, guys, uh, you got people who's gonna compliment you in their head. Uh, they may always compliment you in your head, in their head, but you got people who are also gonna be vocal about it. But if you're one of those powerful overspraying individuals, man, you got people who are gonna be more offended than are complimenting you. That's, that's just a matter of fact. Um, don't be that person who always seeks to fill up a room. There, there's, there's no need to do that. Be that person who is a breath of fresh air. Be that person who says, who when people smell you, they say, man, that King sense always smells good. I wonder what he's wearing today. You know, be that particular person. And also, rotate your fragrances, guys. I got guys that I work with, man, I've turned on the fragrances. And, and some of these jokers, man, are wearing the, the fragrance every single day. Man, don't be that guy. Rotate your fragrances. Don't let people know what your scent is. Um, there's so many great, amazing fragrances out here on the market, man. Broaden your palette. Broaden your horizon. Get out your comfort zone. Um, because chances are, man, you, you, if you got a lady at home, man, she's, she's tired of you smelling the same. It's boring, man. It's boring. Rotate your dog on fragrances, guys. Stop wearing the same fragrance every single day. All right? Consider that just word to the wise. But anyway, leave down below some of your most memorable compliments you've had recently or in the past. And let's talk about it. And until the next time, be blessed, be safe, and Mr. King Sense is out.